Hey guys, welcome back. It is Eric from Eric's World here, back with update number three to the large-scale castle mock. So I've done quite a bit of work trying to get the wall figured out, figure out, um, you know, the height and such. And I think I like this height better than what I had designed before, which was just going to be three bricks higher than the bottom layer there. I think this is better for being on the cliffside and such, but uh, the other layers won't be as high because it's already going to be on um, a rock wall in a way, so I don't really have to worry about that, and here I can kind of show you uh, the height difference, so it's going to be about this uh, same height, so right right about here or something, I'm going to build that up. Um, this is The wall is probably going to expand a little bit further because I have the rock wall that's going to be right here going up, and then this is probably just going to go into it, combine into it, but then we also have the inner works of it as well, so i got to try and interbreed that <laughs> together to make it work well. But I think I'm also going to be adding a building in here. Um, I am just going to wait on a Bricklink order that is going to be bringing me tons of yellow and black uh, parts. So yellow bricks and like black um, black plates and such. So uh, once that comes in, then I can uh, get started on that. It's going to be pretty big. It's probably going to come out to here at least. So... I'm just going to, you know, angle that in there. I already, you know, cut off the inner wall uh, to make that fit. Uh, obviously, whenever I put a brick on here, this will probably push it better together. Uh, and then also, like, some other things I'll have here and there to try and uh, make the um, inside look a little bit better, uh, like weapons racks and such. But I am really looking forward to the next floor here, like, just above here. Um, I'm definitely looking to build a barracks, uh, so we'll have a barracks on the second floor um, after getting the rock work done and the church also right in front of it. So we'll have the barracks um, and then there will be uh, the, the weapons rack or the, the armory or something right next door pretty much. So I cannot wait for that. That's going to be looking amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to that point. But uh, I actually looked back in my Bricklink orders and I don't think I ordered enough slopes. Oh man, that kind of stinks. But um, I do have like a lot of burp pieces, so I'm probably just going to take advantage of them and uh, just add detail if I can onto them to make that uh, kind of fit better. Because uh, with all the burps I have right now, I can definitely finish this off. Um, so I'm just going to have to make that little small sacrifice. But um, on the outside, I I'll, I don't want to have to take advantage of the burps because I would like to have the the outside look a little bit better um, with the detail in the aspect. But yeah, that is uh, the progress right now, so we'll see you guys in a second for the next clip. Well, I guess in the last uh, video I forgot to mention about the uh, storage room and the dungeon that I pretty much built up in a way. I still have extra detail that I have to add in here, but right now this is what I have so far. So we have the pillar in the center to help support the plates on top that... Uh, you know, are obviously going to need the extra support so it doesn't warp down in a way because of all the weight that's going to be above. But uh, we have two little jail cells in here. Um, I'm going to add stakes above these here soon, so like a plate across and then stakes underneath or something like that. And then we have uh, two little uh, chain guys hanging from the wall. Um, I didn't know how to make that exactly, so I decided to just uh, experiment with uh, using the chain and such. I think it turned out pretty well, though. Uh, you know, that guy's pretty scared. That guy's, you know, gone. But uh, I'm going to switch out these two skeletons for um, one of the skeletons I got uh, in a recent haul, so that will make it look nicer. And obviously, you know, Minecraft skeletons uh, doesn't make any sense with circular heads and such. So yeah, that's going to be coming out. But um, I'm going to hopefully build two other uh, torture equipments in here. It's probably going to be one of those stretcher machines or something. Not, It's not like a stretch machine. It's just like stretching your limbs or something. So, you know, it's just uh, one of the medieval type of stuff. And then um, I think I want to have a guillotine somewhere in here, but um, probably outside, you know, like a, a execution in a way. But um, it's just going to be for show. I'm not going to actually have anyone go into there, potentially. Uh, obviously, I have, you know, this set up. But, uh, you know, that's not too bad, at least. But, um, yeah, that's uh, it for right now. So I'll see you guys in a second for next clip. Well, guys, I told you I might do this. And I did. Right after the last clip, I started on revamping the gatehouse here. And I think it looks a million times better than what I had before. The only thing is I'll probably revamp this little section uh, so that I can make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, the only reason why I built that uh, pretty quickly was for the porculus, so I'll definitely take my time uh, designing that later on, because uh, I don't really have to worry about that since that's on the top of the 
castle wall bit, so yeah, that's there's nothing I should worry about that for right now. But uh, the wall, got that all done. Uh, it looks really nice. We got uh, the arches here, one by eight arches, but with the old castle wall placements uh, that are one by five, so that kind of stinks that I had to use uh, the one by eights for that, but you know, uh, had to deal with it. And then we come over here to this side, and we have the one by six arches with the newer uh, wall placements. Let me zoom out for you guys. There you go. So yeah, I think that definitely looks a lot nicer than what it had before. And then uh, once I can finish off the wall in here and the yellow house that I described to you guys before, which um, if you guys can give me some suggestions of what I should put in there, uh, let me know uh, because I'm all ears right now. It's probably going to be basic, uh, probably not going to actually have anything in it potentially. Um, I'm just mainly going to need a need something to be there, uh, something to fill that little zone and come out uh, to right about here so I can preserve parts so I don't have to put a slope here, uh, any gray slopes or something, but I will have gray slopes over here on this side and the wall will continue on this little end uh, and then we'll have the ramp over here in like the mid section. Uh, the ramp will head to the third floor, which um, is going to be the King's Palace in a way. I don't know exactly what you would call it, but uh, all things for the King, the King's throne room, King's um, um, uh, treasury, uh, King's sleeping quarters, you know, all that. And then the, the barracks will be right underneath all that. Uh, and we'll also have the rock wall here, another rock wall. So I desperately need a lot more dark blue gray uh, slopes to make that possible. So fingers crossed I can uh, get some more in here soon. But I hopefully will have enough to finish off this back section here um, as best as possible in a way. Uh, but I am looking forward to getting this done so I can make this side complete in a way. You know, bring it all the way over since that side has a lot more going on to it than this side will because all I need from this side is a rock wall all the way down here um, or actually all the way down to here and we'll have the wall the official castle wall continue on uh, until it gets to like this back portion which uh, is going to be the Keen's castle area so just gotta make sure I separate the two in a way but um, under the, another thing I wanted to show you is that uh, this wall here is bigger than that side because I wanted to have more troops over here, like archers or crossbowmen. So I'm going to have hopefully two layers of them or something uh, firing over into the crowd of uh, bad guys in a way because uh, they're probably going to be around the edge of the river by the time they get close to the castle or by the time I get done with all the stuff uh, inside the village. So yeah, I'm going to hopefully get uh, working on uh, the rest of this here soon. But I also wanted to show you how this all separates. So we just first take out the little um, blue river bit here. And we can pull back the center bit. Let me take out the ramp. And we can pull out that side and that side. I'm not going to pull out the, the inner works here. But you can kind of see where it... it uh, it goes through, so this little crease all the way down to here. This is holding four base plates together because this little bit was having a little warpage issue, but hopefully this is working to fix that in a way. And then we also have it uh, right here going back. And then uh, I think it breaks up right right around there, as you can probably see down there. But yeah, that is, uh, that is it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. So... Uh, hopefully some more progress here soon. I want to get this side done and then the yellow building and then we can move on into the rest of this. Hopefully I'll have more parts in by then uh, and I will be sorting all that. That will be definitely quite a few streams to get all that done or quite a lot of hours to uh, work on all that. But that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed and we'll see you here soon.